Beauty tips for your face as we age. How to look younger with these seven tips coming up. Welcome to the Best Years Podcast. This is Dr. Darlene speaking to Generation X and baby boomers who want more. I'll share power, skills, and tools with you to get your mojo back and love your life. So, you ready for honest beauty tips that take years off your face? Are you sure? Are you sure you want to look younger than your age? Right? Well, you know, let's get honest, ladies. We do. Why? Because it feels really good to look good. Dang it, I'm vain. Well, there's a little bit of us. No matter how wonderful we are on the inside and how spiritual, we like to look good on the outside. And youth has beauty, and I'm going to explain why youth has beauty and what's the difference besides wrinkles. We know that one. You know, the stories of when women put fat suits on and they're treated differently when they're fat than when they take the fat suit off and they're nice and thin. Well, in my life, I have that situation often where I wear no makeup at all versus I get all ready. And I'm treated differently. Yeah, it's true. It's just a fact. Now, why and how? That's all a whole different podcast. It's a whole different topic. I like to look good. And I like to be real. And I like to be genuine. And I like to be able to have no makeup on, a pale face, and still love myself. And I do. So today, let's say it's just okay to look beautiful and make it short and fast. My entire routine from shower to done with my head up, let's say for get, getting dressed, my face is literally four minutes, maybe five, and my hair's three. I know, right? So I've got, say, let's just say 10 minutes from the neck up to get ready Finding my jewelry is the part that takes longer. (laughs) So let's get going with main beauty tips for your face and main beauty tips for women in general. So here's the thing. I'm not sharing products here. I'm not sharing skincare. And the key is what I'm doing is different. I'm sharing what attributes young women have and where we should focus if we want 10 years off of our face. The seven areas, eyebrows, liner for your eyes, lashes, lips, smooth skin, color in your face, and shiny hair. How do you do them? Let's go one at a time quickly. Eyebrow styles, number one, come in and out. Don't they now? Remember our, if we're in our 50s, 60s, let's see, we're talking about our grandmas had the little pointed little skinny things. That's not in right now. So if you want to look younger, then thicker eyebrows are in, not quite Brooke Shields, but they're very, 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 very supersonic manicured. And they're dark. huh? I teach college, and this is how I always know what's in style. When I was in high school, I knew what was in style in my area. Then I graduated and wondered, how do I still know what's in style? Right? Remember that? Well, we didn't know anymore. Well, I have college students in in Utah, so you need to discover your area and what's in. But for the most part, if you look at your soap operas, that's how you're going to know the Eastern trends. Thicker eyebrows, super manicured. And anyone who does eyebrows for a living knows where the eyebrows should start and end. And you need to go in to someone who knows this, a beauty consultant, or let's talk about tattooing. Let's talk about pipe... Uh, permanent makeup. Permanent makeup is a thing. And if you feel, no, I don't want to do that. Well, why? It hurts. Okay. Besides it hurts. Is it any more vain than putting your makeup on every day? I figure go in, get it done once and then I have to do it again. That's why my routine is so short. I have razor lasered. I can't remember the name for my eyebrows. I have a lot of my own hair and it is dark. So I go in and have them just do a couple kick, 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 and I have to, you know, have some wine before I go instead of, you know, 
maybe they give you Xanax or Oxycontin and I feel like the wine would be a lot healthier for me, but whatever you want to do and whatever they tell you, you don't need to tattoo your eyebrows, but if you do, they're going to stay and it's really cool. But basically, if you want to look younger, dark eyebrows and a little thicker, but super manicured with the arch in just the right place. So get some expertise on exactly specifically how you're going to do that. Number two, liner for your eyes. If you have no, okay, as we age, we get boring and our color goes away. Dang it. Everything gets softer. So our hair gets gray. Our faces get paler. Our eyebrows kind of fade a little bit. So if you want to look younger, then liner for your eyes will help. Now there's ways to line on the inside mucosal mucosal and there's ways to line just on the outside nothing write this down kind of oh i have a pet peeve kind of nothing's yuckier than a woman my age who can't see well enough to put her liner on so it's always melting down her face no no don't do that no melting eyeliner there are brands i'm not ready to endorse yet anything i will later but right now there's brands that don't bleed and melt off your face because that's old lady so old lady you never see a young girl with melting eyeliner so ask a young woman in college what do you use for eyeliner there's a billion of them out there or you can get permanent eyeliner it's kind of my favorite thing i did it i admit it i went in and it hurts like hmm really bad swear word here x blah here it's just really bad I'm almost used to it because I get touched up every four years, but I have inside my mucosal lined. Then I have a little line on top. So if I have no makeup on, I still have eyebrows going on a little bit and a little bit of eyeliner. I still don't look very good, but it's better than it could be. And I'll tell you, it makes a difference to have that perfect line. So if you can do a perfect line without permanent eyeliner, go for it. Otherwise, Google permanent eyeliner in my area and go get it done. And then it's always on. It's the same thing as you're going to put it on anyway. I'm all for it. Because I'm for simple. I'm for fast. I got lots to do. And I like to swim. And I like to sweat. Love to sweat at the gym. So it doesn't come off. Oh my gosh. I'm so pro that. Number three lashes. What's a young woman? You look at these young women. They have eyebrows, they have liner, and they have lashes. It's in style in 2018 to have fake eyelashes. Interesting. In fact, so fake that it looks fake. You can see where they've stuck it on. They're not even trying to hide it. It's really in style. I've decided I don't want to do that, so I have researched products. Ooh, I wish I could endorse, but I'm not yet. Oh my gosh, it makes my eyelash, my eyelashes grow. In fact, my daughter uses it. She's 26 and her eyelashes started looking stupid. They were so long. Like you have to stop using that. She says, I know, right? So she had to stop for a month. There's these boosts that are just a product. I think they were, they were discovered by accident, by someone who had cataract medicine or some weird something, I don't know. And that's not what we're talking about today. We're just talking about the attributes of young women. So however you can, if you want to wear fake eyelashes or if you want to, oh, and then there's the eyelash insert thingies where they put them in your eye. I don't want to do that. It's too much maintenance, but I have lots of friends that do. And then of course, like I said, we have the the booster it's just like water it's like a a mascara tube with just a like a brush like a paintbrush and you paint it across your eyes and it takes not even one second like two seconds not even one second like 1001 is too long that's how long it takes to put on and your eyelashes grow i could give you pictures of before middle and after so at age 61 i have long eyelashes hmm how did that happen and i have a girlfriend who used it Who's my age? Long natural eyelashes. So however you can get your eyelashes long, you'll look younger if that's what you want. Number four, lips. As we age, our lips go. 
So full lips can be plump, or excuse me, your skinny lips can be plumped up with lipstick. There are clear lipsticks or plump lipsticks or colored lipsticks that plump and they can plump those lips. So as we keep our lips in mind, you want to make sure that you're using your face cream on your lips. So here's a little trick you do. Brush your teeth first, then put your your uh, conditioner on in your face cream that goes over your lips. Because if you put it on your lips, then you brush your teeth, it takes it off. So make sure you've got that nice moisture around your lips to help those little crow lines around your lips. There's also, I haven't done it, but my girlfriends have where they have injections for lips. Girlfriends, don't, 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 don't do it. Unless you have a teeny tiny little tiny tittle amount, maybe in the bottom lip or something, because you don't want these and that just makes you look older instead of younger. So if you do it, it has to be super, super discreet where your husband, your boyfriend doesn't know you did it that subtle. So there's a distinction between these young girls and what they have and what old people are doing, old meaning my age, that look stupid. So be really super careful about that. Um, have you noticed I haven't mentioned wrinkles yet? Wrinkles aren't necessarily the thing that make you look old. They are, but they're not. If you do all of these other things and you still have our beautiful, wonderful wrinkles we deserve, then it's going to be a shift, I'm telling you. All right, so the next one, number five, is smooth skin. So now let's talk wrinkles. Okay, fine. If I have less, I look younger. But you don't want to get rid of all your wrinkles completely. But what you want to do, and this is more da 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 da, listen, smooth skin happens with scrubs. When you see an older person that's got wrinkled skin and it's rough and leathery, then they don't look younger. So if you have scrubs, there's so many scrubs. There's a company that I have that has a little machine that goes and it literally scrubs off the dead skin off my face and makes my face look really super smooth and shiny. Then you use lots and lots of moisture, just tons of it. So you've got this shiny face, but a natural shine not an oily shine. Then you use moisturizer that sinks in. Yay. I also uh, use a product from a company that sends a little electrical impulse through my skin. So it's working the muscles and plumping up the skin because younger women have plumper skin. In fact, if you look at your younger pictures and now your face is almost fatter and you weighed 20 pounds less when you're young. These young women these young girls have kind of full faces. It's the, the, and we lose that fullness as we age. So just working the muscles under your skin really works. Taking the dead skin off to have that smooth, shiny skin. Boom. Number six, color in your face. Yep. Damn it. I, t- I used to be able to walk from the boat to the car as I'm docking the boat and get a line of tan. I had this rich olive skin. Well, well, I don't have rich olive skin anymore. It's darker than really, really white people, but it's not the color it used to be. And my face looks pale when I have nothing on it. In addition, in parentheses, I have a boyfriend who's black and I always tease him. I say, baby, you're killing my tan buzz. So honestly, I'm not completely sure how tan I am or not right now because that takes my tan away when I look at him and I'm with him. But I'm pretty sure I'm more pale just generally because I used to get tan really fast and now I don't, comma. However, I do use face creams that have sunscreen. I do use lotion on my entire body that has a sunscreen. So I don't know, maybe that's it. All I know is my mom, her skin's lighter than it ever was and she's 90. So we do fade and what do you do about it? A makeup base that is natural, not thick and cakey, one that nobody knows you have that puts color in your face. 
I have the coolest bases that I can't really live without and it just smooths my skin. Oh my gosh, and puts color, but you can't tell I'm wearing it. And these new companies, they just absolutely have amazing products today. Don't use the old one at Walgreens. Go to a makeup artist, new trends, of, use, go to a younger girl makeup artist, and that will put color in your face. Speaking of color, I was uh, subbing high school. I teach college right now. Well, I have for years. But I subbed high school for a girlfriend just for fun. And these her, her, her high school students kind of gathered around at lunch like that was the room where they gather. And they were doing their face. And I watched them in awe. And they don't put a lot of color on their face. They almost look kind of pale like a gothic. I'm like, okay, is this the trend at just this school? Well, then I noticed at my college, in college, they don't put a lot of color on their face. And they wear kind of a, a boring lipstick color. So that's just what's in right now in 18. Excuse me. Ha <laughs> ha. It's 2019. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's 2019. Hello. Yeah. I remember when I thought 1984, the world was going to end. Okay. So in 2019, a lot of colors not in, in terms of blush and lipstick. Unless you're doing your red lipstick to go out, that's actually in. And the young girls will come to school with red lipstick. But it's not bright raisin or bright anything else. It's either red or it's kind of chill. So that's just what's in. So if you have a nice matte, you know, on your face in terms of the makeup base that smooths your skin, that puts the life color in you, then please, girlfriends, it was grandma who couldn't see and she put a rouge on. And it was so funny. You know what I'm saying? And we don't want to do that. We want just gentle color on our face. Gentle, even a, a brownish, taupey, raisiny color, not the pink. So look at newscasters. There you go. That's how you can know what's in when this recording is five years old in the future. Look at the newscaster women. Where do they put their blush? Do they put it in the hall of their creek? Or do they put it up on the smile of their cheek? Because that goes in and out. And notice how bright the color is or how not bright the color is in terms of what's in if you indeed want to look 10 years younger today in your life in the era that you live in. The next one, seven. What do young women have? They have shiny hair. They have shiny hair. And by the way, in the background, if you hear my dog, she snorts. She's just a Pomeranian and she goes, so if you hear that, that's Tink. Huh, little sweetheart. She, she's, she's doing her Tink thing. Shiny hair. Young women have shiny hair. So if you want to look younger, have shiny hair. So what do you do about that? Oh, about 200 things. One is a shiner, a spray shiner. That was easy. Another one is, I've heard, virgin hair does nothing. There are some of us that want to go gray gracefully, and that was me until I became single five years ago. I was going to go with the gray, and then I thought, oh man, the single thing. And so I started coloring my hair, and now I quite like it. And I might do it for a while, because you know what? Virgin hair isn't all that exciting usually. So hey, it takes a minute. And when you color your hair light or dark, it's going to shine it. I think you do it. It's going to shine your hair. So tell your hairdresser you want shiny shine your hair. There are products. I sleep with coconut oil on my hair at times and it's it's pretty cool because it really works super well. So is this helpful for you? These are the topics that make us look younger. They are one through seven. Eyebrows. Liner appropriately for eyes. Lashes. Lips. Smooth skin, color in your face, and shiny hair. There it is. Like I said, I'm not ready to endorse yet any product or skincare line. So with that in mind, you still can research and look around. So now, gee, what are you going to do with yourself when you look 10 years younger? Yay, you know what? You're going to live your best years with grace and passion. 
So I need to add one in. And that would be number eight that I neglected. And that would be white teeth. All young people have white teeth. So get your teeth straightened and whitened. And that will definitely drop your age, make you look young and vibrant. I hope this helped you. Please subscribe so we can hang out, so that we can share, I can get your comments, and we can really live our best lives together. Talk soon. If you like what you've heard, please subscribe to my channel so we can hang out. Also go to www.whatstopsyou.com for notes to this podcast and learn more power skills to indeed live the best years of your life.